All right, guys, so I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to NVIDIA Shadowplay. Uh, basically, uh, every time I'm trying to record, it's not recording, so I kind of got caught off uh, middle of where I was showing you guys the uh, CPU Z. So, real quick, uh, I'll just close this. Okay. So, I'm sorry if the video is a little shaky because I just want to show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. All right, and uh, so let's just go to bench, okay? Because that's that's where uh, I don't know what's wrong with Shadowplay. That's where he just gave up. Uh, so let's just run like a uh, uh, CPU bench right here. So basically, with uh, overclock all the way up to 4.7 uh, gigahertz uh, Core i5, the non K CPU, I managed to gain uh, the single uh, single core performance basically uh, more than a uh, stock uh, i7 7700k we'll compare right now so as you guys can see right here okay i7 7700k kibble lake uh, cpu okay so that's as you guys can see the bottom okay score right here that's for the stock 7700k and the top score uh, basically uh, the CPU I have Core i5 a 6500 overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz okay so as you guys can see my score is 2390 and the KV Lake stock single core score is uh, 2301 and again as you guys can see the CPU multi-thread uh, score uh, for my Core i uh, Core i5 6500 4.7 gigahertz uh, 9,267 and then as you guys can see the uh, i7 7700k stock uh, 9,993 now if we compare that to like 6700k Skylake uh, same thing as you guys can see the single core uh, outperformed the 6700k single core uh, score also as you guys can see the multi-core even though the multi-core score uh, get outperformed uh, by 6500k, but 6700k uh, while rendering stuff will be way faster uh, because uh, of the hyper-thread. The i5, uh, i5 6500k, uh, 6500 doesn't come with uh, hyper-threading. So. so basically we're looking at the uh, single core performance because that's what you really need, uh, like a better single core performance for gaming and stuff. So if we compare that, uh, if we submit the score and we compare that, uh, you know, online and you guys will see. So basically guys, I do recommend you guys, if you guys are, you know, in budget to shop around, if you find a non-K i5-6500, even a stock non-K i5-6500 will perform better than a uh, overclocked Core i3. Okay, trust me. So as you guys can see right here, and that's my CPU right there. All right, and as you guys can see, my uh, single thread uh, and score two thousand three hundred ninety, multi core nine thousand two hundred sixty seven, and then uh, compare against a uh, new KB Lake uh, Intel Core i five seventy six hundred. Okay, as you guys can see, my i five sixty five hundred. Uh, are performing a stock uh, 7600 6600k and uh, uh, 75 and uh, even a 4790 K okay now if you compare that in the chart as you guys can see right here so basically my CPU outperform all the CPU basically all the CPUs right here uh, stock not overclock because i7 7700k overclock will definitely outperform as 6500k now we are only looking at the single core performance because we are, we only care about the game at this point we are not comparing against 7700k multi-thread because if we jump into the multi-thread you guys will see uh, you know the 7700k is not there anymore and the 6700k is not there anymore so real quick let's just run uh, Cinebench and also I'll try to run like a Geekbench for you guys so you guys can see I'm sorry if my hand is a little shaky all right as you guys can see Intel Core i5 6500 
Okay. Now I managed to, like I said, I managed to overclock this CPU, although I have to uh, 4.8 gigahertz, but I didn't want it to overclock, although I have to 4.8 gigahertz, because I I had to raise the uh, the voltage around 1.4, and I really didn't like the temperature I'm getting with this uh, overclock right now. is really good under load. Uh, like I was running a dot, uh, I did a 64 uh, for like a half hour and the max temp I got around like 65 Celsius or 66 so as you guys can see uh, the multi-thread score is 781 CV okay compared to stock as you guys can see right here the stock uh, right here at 3.2 gigahertz uh, i5-6500 Okay, 571, so that's a pretty huge jump right there. All right, and when I managed to overclock the CPU all the way up to 4.8 gigahertz, I managed to go all the way up to 8.8 .8 CB, as you guys can see right here. Okay, so guys, price to performance, the CPU is the best bang for the money, okay? Get a non-K, get a motherboard, you know, flash a custom VIO. And if you have a, list, a latest VIOS, I will make a uh, guide for you guys. Let me know if you wanna see a, a guide and I'll definitely make one for you guys. And uh, yeah, and let's run Geekbench because I know some of you, you wanna uh, watch Geekbench score, you know, I, I know I do. Uh, most of the time I see like benchmark and whenever like you know I watch a video and like the like they don't run the Geekbench score uh, you know I I kind of get mad cuz like if you're gonna show all the score why not just show the Geekbench score also actually right now I could show you guys the setup also so as you guys can see right here and like I said the reason I got this motherboard for $93 uh, cuz it didn't come with a IO shield I had one laying around okay so I had to you know put that on uh, and uh, and like two of the CPU pin was bent so I had to fix the pins uh, was a easy fix and uh, that was it guys uh, it's a great motherboard you know uh, it's a great motherboard for overclocking I uh, I can also use this motherboard for like my test bench because I don't need a part switch as you guys can see and also I have the debug right there so maybe I'll do that uh, yeah so the gig bench is taking long so like my main thing is like shop around you know shop around in eBay see uh, in eBay if you buy something and you know let's put this way uh, you know you receive the part and it's DOA way DOA and it's not working you can return it. Because the people will protect you, you can return it and you can get your money back. I got this motherboard from eBay, so if this motherboard had any problem, I'll definitely return the motherboard and get my money back. So, you know, and yeah. So, I just want to show you guys the. You guys will see like a huge performance jump in like single core uh, performance. So you guys will see in Geekbench. That's the reason I like to see Geekbench score because you know you get to see how the CPU performs, you know, in single or single core threads. Single core performance. I'm really tired guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to share with you guys. Okay. And the uh, Geekbench I have is the trial version, so don't mind. So as you guys can see, overclock i5-6500, overclock to 4.7 gigahertz, the single core score is around 5,477, and the multi-core score is around 15,739. All right, you're not gonna see the overclock here, so. Uh, if you guys don't believe me, Again, I can no, I can show you those CPU Z. Oh God! There you go, CPU Z, four point seven gigahertz. All right, 
All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys have any question, leave in the comment below. If you guys want to see like a gaming benchmark for this build, uh, let me know. Basically, it's not a new build. I just you know install a motherboard and the CPU. Uh, let me know what you guys think. That should be it. Peace.